All right, hello once again. This is Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College, and I've been going over a series of what, what, we, what I've called bonus ASP.NET model view controller articles. There is an 11 article series under docs.microsoft.com in their ASP.NET MVC overview getting started series. So I've gone through getting started, adding a controller, adding a view, adding a model, creating a connection string and working with SQL server local DB, accessing your model's data from a controller, examining the edit methods and edit view, and adding search. So what's left are the final three, adding a new field, adding validation, and examining the details and delete methods. So as I mentioned previously, this is probably the longest presentation or longest document out of all of them. So in this section, it says we'll use the Entity Framework's code-first migrations to migrate some changes to the model classes so that the changes are, are applied to the database. By default, when you use the Entity Framework code-first to automatically create the database, as we did earlier, code-first finds a table adds a table to the database to help keep track whether the schema of the database is in sync with the model classes it was generated from. If they are not in sync, the EF throws an error. This makes it easier to track down issues at development time that may otherwise go unnoticed. So I'm going to follow the steps as they're shown right here. Starting on the bottom of page one. So stop my run. I'm navigating to the Solution Explorer. I'm going to right mouse click. In fact, let me close a few things that are open here. That's pretty much everything. So I'm going to navigate to my file, my database file. And I'm going to right club mouse click on it. And they want us to select delete to remove the movies database. Now, before we do this, this is Jeff speaking, so you may or may not agree. But what I'm going to do first, just in case, because I've screwed up enough stuff in my life, but I'm going to go to that MVC movies, which is in here someplace. There it is. And I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it, and I'm going to call this I was going to paste it. Copy. Paste. There we go. And I'm just, it says we cannot because it's open in SQL Server. Okay. Um, and that's our movie's file. That's the one that I'm most concerned with, so I'm just going to cancel this whole operation. All right? Now, that said, let me do this. Okay, it is open, so I'm going to close it. Now, hopefully that was enough to close it. So let's try that again. Copy. Paste. And it says it's still open. Okay, cancel it again. All right. Let's try this. Let's file. Let's close our solution. Let's file. Let's exit. Okay, it's still open. I'm not sure exactly what to do then. So copy, paste. That's better. All right, so I've got a bunch of copies now. Get rid of that copy. And get rid of that copy. And I'm just going to keep this as MVC movie copy. Okay. And again, the reason for doing that is I now have a copy of the original. So if I do happen to screw up, I still have the original to work with. All right. So we're asked to right mouse click on here and choose delete to remove the database. See, 
I'm sad because there's a lot of work we did with it, but that's fine. Okay. Build the application to make sure there are no errors. Now, we can build, but running it is not going to make any sense because we are accessing a database that no longer exists. All right. So from the Tools menu, click Library Package Manager. NuGet Package Manager. This is why Jeff should always check this stuff before starting. Where is the Visual Studio 2015 Community Edition Library Package Manager? Located. NuGet is the package manager. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's try that then. So we'll right mouse click on here and we will go to manage NuGet packages. <clears throat> I'm going to browse and just because I'm not sure if this, if I'm doing what I'm doing is correct or not. And under Browse, I'm going to go to Package Manager Console. Well, this is what's tough. When stuff changes over different editions, I'm not sure which one I'm supposed to be using here. So... What they show in the document under tools here is they show connect the database, connect the server, choose toolbox items, and right underneath that they've got this. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. How's that? Let's close this. Tools, NuGet Package Manager, Package Manager Console. There we go. And the console basically is a console area that comes up at the bottom of our screen here. So if I did that too fast, again, it was Tools, NuGet Package Manager, Package Manager Console. Okay? All right. In the Console Manager, at the prompt, enter the following. Again, because I don't want to make any mistakes when I'm keying this stuff in, I'm going to grab it right from here. If I make any mistakes along the way, you're going to know it when I know it. This command creates a configuration.cs file in a new migrations folder. And it says the context type MVC. Oh, I, well, it could be because mine is MVC capitalized. I don't know. Let's try to paste that in again. I think I call mine MVC. Okay, now hopefully that was the error, but we'll find out. It's better. It's went further than it went last time. All right, so according to this, it created a new folder called migrations, and it's got a configuration.cs file in there, which you can see. Visual Studio opens that configurations file for you. So that's what we see on the screen right here. It says replace the seed method with the following code. Well, let's look and find the seed method. Right here. It says to replace that method with the following code. Well, there's nothing in it right now. So... We want to put this in there. Uh, 
I'll leave what's in there, what the author has in there, or what was created for us. All right. And the author says, right click on the red squiggly line under movie and select resolve. Right click under the red squiggly line and click resolve then using MVC movie models. We don't have a resolve under movie, so if I right mouse click on it, I don't see a re resolve here. There's a rename, there's an organize. unit tests, etc., etc., but there's no resolve. I'm just going to go on. Okay. Now, this is going to build a new database for me with different movies than the ones I chose. Okay? Just so you're aware of that. Now, it says here when you do this, it's going to add a using statement at the top of the file. So, I'm manually going to add that. Using MVC movie dot models okay so I put that in did that remove yeah it got rid of those good all right then it says on the bottom of page six note code first migrations calls the seed method after every migration in other words calling update database in the package manager console and this method updates rows that have already been inserted and inserts them if they don't yet exist the add or update method in the following code performs the update operation. Right there. And that's for each one, you know, and it's going to add those movies in. Now, I can go back and change this in fact, you know what? I think I will. I want this to look like mine that I had originally. So I'm going to change what the author has here, and I'm going to change all those movies that the author has to make them look like my movies. Now, maybe that's a waste of my time. It's definitely a waste of your time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this right here. In fact, you know what I'll do? As I did before, I'll make this a two-parter. So I'm going to stop right here. Go back in and add all of my stuff so this will look like the database that I created. Now, maybe that's not necessary. I'm doing it for consistency's sake on my part. So I'll be back with part two of this in just a couple minutes.